Donating blood is a simple process with a huge impact. In less than one hour, you can save up to three lives. The morning of your donation, you'll arrive at the donor center or blood mobile and fill out the health history questionnaire. You'll be shown to a private screening room where our staff will answer any questions you have and go over your health history in detail. We'll give you a mini health screening, take your blood pressure and temperature, and do a finger stick to determine your hemoglobin level. What if I take medications? Can I still donate? Most medications don't keep people from donating. We'll go through your list of medications to make sure. Do I have to know my blood type? Nope, we'll figure it out and let you know. You'll be seated in a comfortable chair. The phlebotomist will confirm your identity and examine your arms before beginning the donation process. Giving blood is the quickest part of the procedure, typically just eight to 10 minutes for a full donation. When you're done, you'll move to the refreshment center for a drink and a snack. Whether you donate at the donor center or give blood on board the mobile unit, you're in a safe and controlled environment and making a life-saving difference for patients in need right here in our community. A platelet donation takes a little longer than a blood donation. We ask that you hold two hours. Because platelets are only viable for five days, they're always needed. So the extra time is very much appreciated. First, you'll take a seat in a comfortable contour chair in our main donation area. For your platelet donation, a single-use kit is used and disposed of after the collection process. During the collection process, whole blood is drawn from your arm and channeled through a cell-separating machine, where the platelets are separated and your red cells and plasma are returned to you. The donation process itself takes about 90 minutes. Now, let's take a look at what happens to your blood once your donation is complete. The first stop is a lab where your donation is prepared for transfusion. The blood is tested, hyped, and labeled. If you've given whole blood, it will be separated into components. Red blood cells, plasma, and platelets. Each component can go to a different patient. A single donation can help save the lives of three people. Does it hurt? Most people tell us it doesn't hurt and that when it's over, they can't believe how easy it was. Will my arm hurt afterward? Unlike a flu shot, there's usually no soreness afterward. Some people may have a small bruise on the arm the next day. Less than 1% of donors have any type of reaction after donating. How long does it take? The entire experience from start to finish is typically 30 to 40 minutes long. How much blood do you usually take? And how much will I have left? Most people have between eight to 10 pints. A typical donation is one pint. How often can I donate? You can donate whole blood every 56 days and platelets every seven days. Do I need to do anything differently after donating? No smoking or heavy lifting for four hours after a donation and increase your hydration for the next 24 hours. That's it. Schedule an appointment. Be a lifesaver today.